Good morning. morning. We'll begin our devotion today. We worship in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We'll begin with our hymn. Our devotion for today is John chapter 10, verses 14 to 15. Uh, We read, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me, I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Uh, Maybe you remember hearing these words last week. Uh, My my son, I have two boys. I have a, a boy, Aiden, and a boy, Levi. Aiden is two years old, and Levi is eight months old. And my son, Aiden, loves his little lamb. You can see kind of how, how dirty it is. He, he likes to sleep with it. He has all these other animals, but he seems to be gravitated to this little one. But he, he loves his little lamb. He, he, if it's under the bed, he's like, lamb, 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 where, where's lamby? And so we look for it, and he, he gets it, and uh, we uh, find it for him. And often at night, when we do our songs our, and our prayers and things like that, he wants his little lamb. And, and one of the songs that we sing is, I am Jesus' little lamb. Uh, maybe you enjoy singing this song as well. But my son sings it a, a little bit different, okay? He puts the emphasis on a different spot. And I'll sing it like him. I am Jesus, little lamb, ever glad at heart I am. For my shepherd gently guides me, knows my needs and well provides me, loves me every day the same, even calls me by my name. He he loves to know that, that Jesus loves him and that he knows him by name. Oh, what a wonderful example that uh, uh, children like yourselves can share your faith even with adults that are in the room. That you can confess, Jesus is my shepherd. And what a wonderful thing that the shepherd knows us, isn't it? And who is that good shepherd? Jesus says, I am that good shepherd. I am the one who, who knows you, who cares about you. Remember the kind of the second stanza of I am Jesus Lamb? Day by day at home away, Jesus is my staff and stay. When I hunger, Jesus feeds me. Into pleasant pastures leads me. When I thirst, he bids me go. Where the quiet waters flow. That's who our our shepherd is. Jesus is your shepherd. He he cares about you as one of his sheep. But we might wonder, why would Jesus, our good shepherd, love me? I'm just but a sheep. I'm nothing special. And when we look at ourselves, we, we act like sheep sometimes. We go running off. Well, when my, my son is doing something wrong, I'll say, Aiden, come here. And what does he do? He keeps running. And then I have to go chase him down. Uh, that's kind of how you and I act sometimes, don't we? And it doesn't matter if we're 2 or 30 or, or 80. Uh, Jesus calls our names and we want to go running away. 
But yet, Jesus keeps chasing after us. He, he keeps saying your name. Hey, come back. I, I want you. You're my sheep. And we still think, oh, Lord, why would you want a sheep like me? I'm filthy. I'm dirty. Uh, I, I don't look pleasant. There, there's stains on me. But our shepherd grabs us and says, you are mine. And he just doesn't say, you are mine. He shows us, too. Well, what did he do? Our good shepherd laid down his life for the sheep. He gave up his life for, for you and me so that we could have life with him. He, we see him die on that cross and shed his blood for miserable sheep like us so that we could be white, that we could be pure in his sight and not have to worry uh, about the wolves that might devour us. There the shepherd is chasing after you. There the shepherd is with his staff defending you against the wolves. And every time you run to your filth, he's there to wipe you clean because he cares about you. And he cares about all of us. Yes, certainly the ones that are in his fold, but also the ones who, who still don't know him or the ones are, who have constantly run away. He says, I want to know them too. They, they, they are supposed to be in my fold. They're supposed to be in my pen. Because they are mine. And, and he deserves them because of what he has done for them and for you and me. How, how can we not be overjoyed? How, how can we not be happy at all the things our Savior has done for us? Our good shepherd. Your good shepherd. So as you grow up, you can rely on your shepherd because you're a sheep of his. I'm a sheep of his. And we praise his name. Who so happy as I am, even now the shepherd's lamb. And when my short life is ended, by his angel hosts attended, he shall fold me to his breast there within his arms to rest. Amen. Let us pray. Jesus, you are our good shepherd, who knows each of us, you know us, sin and all, yet you willingly lay down your life for us. Now we are your sheep by faith. Lead us through your word so that we come to know you better every day. Amen. We continue with our next hymn. We'll continue with reading Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. 
Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they come for me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You will my bed with oil, my overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. We'll have a special prayer here. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the grace and mercy you have shown us sinners, these dirty lambs. We thank you for sending our Good Shepherd so that we can have life with you, so that by his blood and by his death and ultimately his resurrection, we will be sheep of your fold here on earth, but most importantly, sheep in heaven. We, we look forward to the day when we will live in the pastures of heaven forever with our good shepherd watching over us and taking care of us. Please keep us firm in the faith until that time. Amen. And we join to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now, children, go in peace, live in harmony with one another, and serve the Lord with gladness. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.